everyone, Simon here again. Let me just adjust that. Solomon's Tales. Fifty Shades of Solomon. Did you notice that in the title? Uh, last video. I might have made an error because I mentioned about Solomon getting a Thai bank account with this woman Sue. But I think they did that already quite a few series ago. Um, but if not, she took him to the bank, helped him get a bank account. And he's got a tight bank account. So, new room, safe, beach view, no balcony, a glass partition in the room behind it, shower, bath, big bath, soapy massage room, strange. But it's a new room. There's no one staying around him in any of the rooms on that floor. Uh, he's a couple of floors up, so very quiet it's going to be. Back solves the problem although there is bars downstairs but a couple of floors down so it should be fine not directly opposite like the Atlantic bar was he'll miss the girls Ning lives in the next block up the road in Soy 4 um, so not far away will she stay there probably but he won't find girls lying in his bed with his door open and stuff anymore in this room so all is good now, as we mentioned before, Solomon's um, now in his second month. He's done his visa. He's got another month before he needs to leave the country. He's got this big competition coming up um, at uh, Sharky's Bar, what is it called? That could be a big one, sort of 50,000 bat touch. And uh, he's going to need to get some practice in over the coming week. And that's in his mind. Because that one, if he could win that, that will give him a couple of months' money. That will give him enough money to actually go on a bit of a holiday and maybe look at uh, either Cambodia again. Or in his mind, he'd like to go to Vietnam and have an OZ round. So he really needs to win that one. But usually it attracts the top guys around because of the money. Plus it's nine ball, so it's normal pool. And there's those girls there that are really good who could win it as well. And the one guy, where was he from? Germany, Belgium, wherever. If he turns up, then it's going to be tough. That guy was so good. So Solomon needs to practice. He needs to go to that Sharky's bar more. He needs to get practice on those tables. There's nothing much else happening in the week as far as uh, killer pool contests. Um, Frozen pops up now and then to see him. Ning's in and out to see him again. But uh, he wants a relaxing week. He doesn't want to go out and get drunk. He doesn't want to end up being set up again by Ning with another girl. Could end up with uh, Apple or the other knock, Kirby. Um, if he's not careful. Well, we know that uh, doesn't happen. But there's other girls living with Ning. <laughs> and Ning is hell-bent on setting him up. All he wants is a peaceful year in Asia to see if he can find some sort of work. He does find himself the next few days taking advantage of the free coffee as well downstairs. So he starts spending a bit of time there like in the morning, get a free coffee before he go out and get breakfast. The evenings he'll come back, get a coffee and he's pretty much always on his own, less Ning's there. But there's that one girl, she's got her eye on him. He hasn't worked out what hour she works and uh, what's the score there. Very attractive girl. No name. No idea name. Yeah. Hmm. But considering he was coming for a, a non-hedonistic holiday, he's had his fair share of interactions um, in the gymnasium and aerobics and all that. So he's keeping fit. Keeping fit. The contest is looming. Um, he gets up to Sharkies, gets quite a bit of practice, especially with the girls that are really good. Gets that one girl again, the manager's girlfriend. She is really, really good. There's a bit of a go-go bar just down the lane car park area. He's popped in there a bit and he's found another one just around the corner. Don't know if it's still there. I think it was called Classroom 2000. It's quite a nice little go-go bar. 
and the fact he's now at the bottom of uh, soy two soy four um he stuck his head in those front two bars had a look in there but uh not really as busy as up at the atlantic bar and those ones around there so uh that's quite a nice walk he'll walk up soy four to the atlantic bar and those say hello to the girls you know and then walk back down that's that's a nice little pub crawl except the six four one two three four bars atlantic bar the four of them there are right next to each other so it's not much of a crawl anyway contest arrives it's on a <clears throat> it's on a saturday it's on a late afternoon six o'clock early evening a lot of people entering uh usual thousand baht each and now this particular contest uh sticks in his mind going back sticks in his mind because there were more than 50 people entering there was um more like 60. the bar took a bit of a cut probably about five thousand baht prize money was about 55 um so first place was probably 43 44 maybe 10 11 thousand for second place so it's really good money you really wanted to win it you know 40 thousand baht that was uh oh, that was about 600 american dollars back then just thinking of the trip anyway he gets up there frozen's with him ning's tagged along <laughs> and the place is heaving there's lots of tables but each um match is three the best of three frames and then the final i think it's best of five frames so it takes a while to have your three frames but if you lose two on the trot you're out so anyway he's uh grabbed most of the cues there are good cues so he's grabbed a good cue sticks with that cue for the whole evening and he gets going gets into it um all the girls that work there, pretty much they all go in free to make it even more numbers. Anyway, a couple of easy matches, he's straight through. Comes up against one of the girls who works there, but she's not as good. Knocks her out. Plain sailing. Then he notices, because there's so many people he wasn't really noticing, he was just get on with the game. The Belgium German guy, he's over there, uh, smartly dressed. He's clocked Solomon, Solomon's clocked him, they've smiled at each other and that immediately Solomon's like oh, a nemesis. This guy is so smooth as Q in action. He's such a clever player. His strategy is, is brilliant, really good. The guy could be pro, he's really, really good. Anyway, he goes through, but he go, keeps going through the rounds, comes up unbelievably comes up against the boss's girlfriend. He's played her loads over the last few weeks. And he comes, and she's like, oh, oh dear. First frame, she clears the table. He doesn't even get a look in. She amazing, cleared the table. And he's like, oh dear, now I'm on my back foot. Luckily, he's, he's in good form. Next uh, frame, he pretty much clears it, he wins it. Down to the next frame, she gets to break off and she gets unlucky. And Solomon, relaxed, good mood, takes his time, clears the table, bang, she's out. Another match with a, a, a foreigner. Tough match, but Solomon beats him. And he's through to the last uh, four. It's something like 8.30 at night. He's only drinking Coke and soft drinks as a lipo. Last four is actually best of five for the last, that's right, the semis, best of five frames. So he's just got to beat one more guy and he's through to the final. The German, Belgium guy's there. He's in the last four. Luckily, he's not playing Solomon this game. So if Solomon wins, he's got possibly him in the final. Guy he's come up against, uh, quite a large gentleman. Um, again, foreigner. 
Uh, can't remember where he's from, but the guy's pretty good. Solomon wipes the floor clean with him, just bang. Three frames straight on the trot, the guy's out. Solomon's in the final. He's won 10, 11,000 back, guaranteed. Ning's over the moon, and so is Frozen. Jumping up and down with joy. Now I'm getting the flashing light. Battery's going to go. Into the final. And who is it? Yeah, it, it was just inevitable. The Belgium German guy. <clears throat> inevitable and Solomon's feeling a bit sort of oh god this is the one guy that beats me more times than I beat him anyway girls are setting up the table they're announcing the final people are coming around to watch the guy comes over and says hi shakes hands Solomon's like oh I really wish it wasn't you in the final the guy's why you a good player Solomon's like do you know what with the money on it it puts a different edge on it if there wasn't money on it um i would kick your butt and the guy's like really you think so and Solomon says, yeah he said i'd absolutely kick you know it, it's just that money he said it makes me play slightly different and the guy turned around to him and said okay well forget the money we'll just split the prize money 50 50. there's um 50 something like fifty five thousand baht he said we'll take 27 and a half each he said i'm not in bothered about the money he said do you want to do that instead and solomon's like hang on what he's offering me just half we put the money together split it down the middle and we can play for forget the money and solomon's like yeah that'd be a great idea because then i can play my game and kick his butt but then oh frozen was behind him listening no 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 she wants more of a cut she's like ah, don't do it Nah, play for the money. And she's pushing him. And Ning's like, oh, well, whatever. Ning's just eyeing up who's in the room. But the guy was really nice. He turned around and offered Solomon half money. Which doesn't happen very often. And that's a nice gesture. But it means <laughs> Solomon's almost sort of giving in. Mm. Anyway, Solomon says, Thanks. But now we'll leave the money. He says, I'll just uh, I'll just beat you even with the money. <laughs> you know, being quite arrogant. Sort of puffing up the chest. And the guy's like, okay. Whichever. Best of five. Guy wins the first. Solomon wins the second. Solomon wins the third. Solomon's 2-1 up. Uh, get to the next frame, which... Basically, if Solomon wins, that's it, he's won it. Solomon makes a great break off. He's got a chance. And there's all that money. He's 2 1 up. Gonna have to cut it short because the battery's about to go. And keep you on the edge of your seats. Can Solomon pull it off? Hmm. We'll leave it there. Have a cliffhanger today. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Plus the wife's ringing. Bye.